Prophetic Nutrition We're going to look at the etiquettes of eating Wa alaikum salam As taught to us by Prophetic Medicine Which refers to the advices, the recommendations, the actions of the Prophet Peace be upon him when it comes to health promotion We find that a large chapter or a large portion of Prophetic Medicine Would be dedicated to nutrition and of that a large portion will be dedicated to the etiquettes of eating in modern day times we find that nutritional medicine or modern science doctors and scientists place emphasis on organic foods versus inorganic foods place emphasis on eating foods that are free of hormones a lot of emphasis is placed on the fat content of foods how well it gets absorbed the nutrient content however the etiquettes of eating is overlooked. So in modern day times, the benefits, the health benefits of eating correctly in a certain manner is overlooked. Whilst in prophetic medicine, these advices are emphasized. And we know that in traditional Islamic society, there are certain ways that we should conduct ourselves when eating. However, many of us are unaware that these mannerisms connected to eating habits has a profound effect on our nutrition, on our digestion, on how well we heal when it comes to certain illness conditions in terms of preventative medicine. We find in prophetic medicine a sacredness is attached to the meal. In modern day times we buy food on the run, we eat takeaways, we pass by a window where food is prepared in a matter of seconds through the drive throughs we eating while we're driving, at work we'll gobble down a meal quickly and we fail to see that these pressures of modern day living causes us to take eating for granted. Whilst in prophetic medicine many factors are put in place to add sacredness to the meal. So we spoke about the intention and the benefits of prayer over meal. We find that the Prophet also used to recommend that we should sit and Eat. So take time in your day. In your busy schedule, isolate or designate a time for your eating whereby you prepare your meal and you actually sit down in a protected space away from the computer, away from your phone and you dedicate that time to consuming the meal. By doing that, by making the niyyah and the intention, you'll ensure that you can avoid all the, the symptoms that are associated with eating too fast or overeating. And by doing that, one will be more conscious of what you consume. It's well established that to choose your time when you eat, choose your company is very important, to sit down and you eat. By sitting down and eating, what does it do? When in a sitting position, we find that the, the stomach is compressed due to the posture. And by doing this, you limit the amount of food that one can take, take in. If you were to stand and eat, the volume of the stomach allows for more to enter. So one would take longer to be filled. But if you were to sit down, eat slowly, it's recommended that when you eat with your hands, to eat with three fingers. Whilst doing that, you limit the morsels of food that enter the mouth. By doing that, you are not taking foods in big gulps, which cause a a burden on the digestive system because as food go down goes through the digestive tract, enzymes are released in order to allow for the food to be broken down efficiently. However, when you're consuming foods on the run, eating fast, standing and eating, it hampers digestion. So it's a cause of many conditions that can lead to constipation, heartburn, indigestion, cramps, which can eventually affect your rest of your day. It will affect how you concentrate for the day. It could make you lethargic. It could make you moody. There are many self-help tools within the prophetic medicine that are seemingly very simple on face value. But when implemented and when you make that change compared to our fast-paced modern living whereby we overlook the sacredness of our meal, when we take the time to designate a portion of the day to eating, we say the intention before we eat, we sit down and we eat, uh, we eat with our three fingers, we'll be discussing many more other etiquettes which will also benefit. By doing all of this, we allow ourselves to gain maximum benefit from the advices of the Prophet, peace be upon him, which eventually will lead to the well-being of our minds, of our bodies, and our spirituality. Yo, Muslim. Oh,